Today on Midday at 1230, we're going to tell you about an event encouraging people to speak up, speak out, and put an end to domestic violence. Plus, the Candleberry Candle Company is here to talk all about candles that are going to fill your home with the delicious scents of fall. This is Midday Kentucky. Good afternoon. Happy Tuesday. Thanks for joining us on Midday at 1230. I'm Amber Freeman. And I'm Adam Banks. How you feeling, Adam? I'm feeling better than you are today. I feel lovely. <laughs> I think there's something going around, um, so I have a lovely edge to my voice, but it's all good. It is. We just need to have a little table with some hand sanitizer so every couple seconds I can just put it on because I'm not trying to get sick. You are welcome to walk off. <laughs> Let me just get on. <laughs> I can definitely talk all that I can. Oh. I am not going to rub it off on you. I promise. I am so heavily medicated. I think you're <laughs> safe. Here comes the hand sanitizer. <laughs> Thank you, Clark. No, I'm feeling. I'm feeling good though. On quite the contrary, I'm, I'm feeling good. Uh, well rested. Put on some new bed sheets on my bed. I, I, I give credit to that. So. If you want a good night's sleep, go change your bed sheets. You had an exciting night. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. It's, it's, you don't have to do much. All right, I'm going to go right in because have you seen, you, I hope you have seen these, where it's kind of they had the controversy over the dress colors. Yes. Or um, what are the other ones? I know there was a dress. Was it like blue or Yeah, that's what it was. White. It was blue and gold, white. It was like, which color do you see? Yeah, and there was something else. That, every, everybody there was had, another one. Everybody had a different color that they seen. What was that? I don't know. Yeah. Well, there's a new one, and you haven't seen this yet, I don't think. I have, so I'll tell you what I've seen when I saw it. Okay. I don't even know that was correct grammatically. <laughs> but this one has to do with a pair of sneakers. What colors do you see when you see this? I see light blue and gray. Light blue and gray. Yes. All right, that's close to, to what it is. Uh -huh. um, gray and teal, but apparently others are seeing pink and white. What did you see, Clark? Pink. Clark saw pink and white. I, I don't see pink at all in that. Well, this is, the, we all have different minds, and a lot of celebrities are commenting, including Will Smith. He posted on Instagram that he also sees pink and white, like our floor man Clark. Singer Lizzo also weighed in on the optical illusion. She said the sneakers look gray and teal to her, but that the whole team on her side saw pink and white as well. She also theorizes that if you see pink and white, you are right brain dominant, but if you see gray and teal, you're left brain dominant. Okay, what if you've seen light blue, or is that the same color as teal? I think you're colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, well, left brain is more kind of the logical way of uh, thinking, where you're more mathematically inclined, you kind of do that whole process, where the right brain, I believe, is more creative, Cra crazy, Clark. So did I no, fall on the right or the left? Well, you saw blue and teal, right? So, so that's right. Or gray and teal? Yes, so I am creative. No, that was left. Oh, so that couldn't be any further from the truth because mathematically, statistically, putting things together, that's not me. <laughs> so you also tried to switch it around to see he to make it equal what you wanted it. I have you. I have your number, Adam. You have. You've been right. doing that to me all day. Let us know what you think and if you saw what color and if you agree with those terms, unlike Adam Banks here. <laughs> All right, shopping. Do you do online shopping? Uh, it's, I love online shopping. It's the only way to go. Oh, okay, so you won't go into like stores or I'll anything? I'll go, I'll go. Just if I want like the quick, you know, pick up purchase if I want it that day. So what about like restaurants and customer service and stores? How do you deal with that if you go to a place that is not up to par? Okay, I am all about the product and the service. So if I like that product and that service, I will overlook the customer service. Oh, okay. Well, wait, uh, didn't, you just said that product and that service. Yeah, so like if it's a, if it's a product, uh, like, in, like a dish, at a restaurant, that's a product, right? Or a service would be a haircut. If I like the way they cut my hair, I'm still gonna go back regardless if they're hateful or not. Oh, okay, yeah. so you don't, like if you go to a store and something is broken and you go to return it and they say, no, you cannot return it, how would you handle something like that? Uh, that that's a little frustrating, but it just depends on how much I like their stuff that so I'm So you buying. would come back? Yeah, I'm not a, I don't hold grudges. I think that, every, that just leads to 
nobody being happy in that situation. So you're just going to keep going to a store if something, if they have horrible customer service? If the product and service is excellent, I'll overlook it, yes. I won't hold the grudge. Well, he is in the minority because Americans apparently abide by a three strikes and you're out policy when it comes to shopping. That's new research. A new poll found the average American consumer will give a retailer only three mistakes with their purchase before deciding to never shop with them again. Nearly 8 in 10 Americans say they also wouldn't shop with a retailer ever again if they encountered bad customer service. And Americans have completely sworn off an average of four retailers due to bad customer service experiences. Millennial respondents, more critical, swearing off an average of five. Those over 65 have vowed mm, only twice to never shop at that place again. I agree with this. If the customer service is bad, I will never go there again. I, do, I, I, I am all about that, that situation because that is, in a restaurant, you, that's what you're going is for that. Are, well, I mean, not necessarily. I mean, you might be going for the actual food. And if that- Do you like to be yelled at when you're, or, or get the wrong, sir, the wrong dish or something like that? I couldn't tell you how many times. I all right, well, we're, we have to go. <laughs> I'm not cutting you off. I'm getting cut off in my ear. Okay. We have a lot more show to go. Let us know if that's, uh, those statistics are correct with you. We have a huge vigil that we're gonna talk about and you're all invited this week at the courthouse. That's coming up next. It's raising awareness about domestic violence. Thanks for staying with us. All right, it smells fantastic right in this area. I'm just going to start by saying that. And if you are one of the people who love burning candles in your home, guess what? You are not alone. The National Candle Association reports 70% of all households burn candles. And we have a local company that has made a name for itself by creating candles with a little tad of a Kentucky twist. Joining us today, we have Caitlin Michael. She's the retail sales manager for Candleberry Candles. Kayla, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having us. All right, I tell the story because when I first came to Kentucky, I am part of that 70%. I burn mm -hmm. candles constantly. Awesome. The first time I smelled one of your candles, mm -hmm. I was like, what is this? Who are these people? And I need more. Yes. What makes your product so different? So we actually put the maximum amount of fragrance um, from the bottom of the candle to the very top. Each one is hand poured with its own special care and that way whenever you get down to like half the candle the bottom you're still going to get a, just as strong of a burn and a fragrance in your house as you would the first time you lit it. Um, so we pride ourselves on making it extremely strong for it, that purpose. In the yeah. best way possible. It's yes. not that overwhelming smell. It's just like, you want to eat these candles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say that. <laughs> or I just told you I want to rub yes. them all over. <laughs> it's probably not appropriate. <laughs> like Amber, I also like to burn candles, but mm -hmm. I have a problem with my candles going out too quickly. Do you have any suggestions on how to make a candle burn longer? Right. Well, first you need to buy Candleberry. Okay. And then number two is keep your wick trimmed about a fourth of an inch. After every single burn, you want to make sure it's trimmed. So a lot of people don't know that. I've not been doing that. Yes. So trim your wick and buy Candleberry. That's a, it's both. Yes. Both very yes. good advice. All right. You have a plethora of smells. Anywhere yes. you go into the stores. Yes. Where do you come up with these uh, scents? So a lot of the scents and the names, um, we it's a group decision. So someone will come up with like three or four and we'll just... Google share it and everyone votes. So that's how a lot of the new scents come up with and stuff. And a lot of them have to do with bourbon. Yes, they do. So we make a lot of the um, candles for bourbon distilleries such as Jim Beam, Blanton's, Buffalo Trace, um, Jack Daniels, and many, many more. Um, and we're most known for our hot maple toddy and Kentucky bourbon candle. So that's where a lot of the bourbon names come from. And they are delicious. Yeah. <laughs> and the smell is so strong. So if I have an open floor uh, house, if I have an open floor mm -hmm. uh, house plan, yes. uh, do would one candle suffice and smell up my whole house, or do I of need to put candles all over? Okay. Of course, no, one will do you. Yes. Well, Kayla, you do have all different kinds of products because I have only seen the candles and the mm -hmm. car fresheners, but mm -hmm. you have some new things that are out this season. Yes. So season. we have a new line called Grapes and Grains. Um, we actually poured the candles in wine glasses. We have beer glasses online, and then rocks glasses as well. Um, we sell room sprays and wax melts if you're not into having an open flame. Um, all kinds of different sizes of candles. So, which just that is just a beautiful way to, you know, yes, a new way to decorate tables, yeah, right? Or, yes. or like Thanksgiving. I mean, mm -hmm. you need table settings, right? Great beautiful gifts too. Mm -hmm. And you are local. You are yes. here in Kentucky. Talk yes. about that a little bit. So we are operated and based out of Frankfort, Kentucky. Um, we're actually not open to the public, but we sell all of our products online at Candleberry.com. 
and then we also do wholesale sales. So there's a lot of stores around here, Tennessee, West Virginia, all over the U.S. that sell our products. And if you go to Candleberry.com, you can type in your address and find a store near you that sells them, or simply order off Candleberry.com. Yeah, make it easy. Yes. A, a big candle like that, how long would that last? Because I know viewers at home are like, wow, that's That'll a That'll last candle. like forever. <laughs> yeah. More that, than a year, yes. I would say. So that's a perfect gift. Yes. I, I've even known people just, you can rub it, scratch it, and that's, you know. Oh, it's amazing. Yep, rubs off. All right, Kayla, you're the expert. What is your go-to scent in the line? My go-to scent, it depends on the day, to be quite honest. I love that. Yes. Um, but we have a new vanilla cream avalanche that I've been oh. burning lately, and that's over here, and it's amazing. Um, love that one. And then Fall Festival is so fun for this time of year. Oh. Because you have the different layers. It's a three-layer candle. Okay. So you get to experience all kinds of different scents in there. And it is, it's awesome that you have the candles that go with kind of each season. Yes. What are your picks for this fall? This fall, for sure, is um, Honey Pecan Rum Cake. It's mm. awesome. And then as it gets a little bit colder, we have a Whitewoods Cabin fragrance that's amazing for the wintertime. Love it. The names alone. I, I, we asked how you came up with the scents. Who comes up with these names? <laughs> it's a group thing. We all we vote on it together. You have a fun job. Yes, I do. And yes. as you said, you go in everywhere. You smell fantastic. Right. Yep. Someone can pick it out. Of, I'll be in a line and someone will be like, I smell hot maple toddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a walking <laughs> advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So again, you can go online, order mm -hmm. these. You can go in so many stores here yeah, in town for and sure. find these candleberry. If you have not picked up one, Please do yourself a favor. They make yes. fabulous gifts as well. This is yes. my new go to gift for everybody. Good. Yes. Glad to hear it. Well, we appreciate you being here. Thank you so, so much. We're just going to ingest all the smells for the rest <laughs> of the show. We appreciate it. We'll see you again tomorrow. Gave Adam a hard time today. Yeah, you took it well. like a champ. <laughs> Have a great one. We'll see you tomorrow.